It's not visible. Okay. I think screen sharing permissions are disabled here. We can't see. Okay, let me share. Is it visible now? Yeah, it's coming now. Okay. Yeah, visible that... now. Okay, great. Uh, just a minute. Okay, so as I was saying, if you go to Trailhead account and to the credentials, you can go to certifications. And in here, there are these things available. How to minimize this? Okay, okay got it. Sorry. Uh, yeah, if you go, yeah, as I, as I was saying, if you want to go to the consultant track, then this Omni Studio consultant is the certificate that you need to uh, uh, focus on. This, so if you go there, it will give you all the uh, required modules that you need to study and all those stuff. And if you want to go to the developer track, then again, there is Omni Studio developer. Okay, this one. So these two are the basic one that you must have if you want to, uh, you know, do uh, further certifications in Velocity. So after this, there, if you want to do the CPQ one, then there is this industry CPQ developer. Then uh, if you want to do order management, then there is order management uh, one also. Uh, and again, these are industry specific certifications. So there are uh, if you want to do health insurance developer, then there is a different, that's the different credential you need to uh, study that. There is energy and utilities also one there. So yeah, that's the hierarchy for the certification. So you do it accordingly. Any question on certification? This particular course, uh, what is the, what is the scope and like you know what are the topics you are going to cover? Uh, yeah, like this is uh, I mean this training is for basic velocity um, development. So I will be covering uh, basic components that we have in velocity. That would be FlexCard. Omniscripts, integration procedures, data raptors, and calculation procedures. So these are the things we we'll, we will be covering as a part of this. Uh, the five concepts, just now, whatever you have mentioned. Yeah, I'll come to that part. Okay. Yeah. So uh, before that, uh, can you guys log into your Trailhead accounts? I mean, this is going to be like we will be doing the exercises together so that it will not be just theoretical sessions, you know, it will be boring otherwise. Uh, I still have one doubt. Uh, as you mentioned, we have consultants and developer roles in uh, yeah. uh, Velocity, right? So uh, what is the market scope out there? Means, uh, when you compare with Salesforce admin and Salesforce developer, you will have more opportunities as a developer, not as an admin. In the same way, how would be the velocity? Uh, it is quite similar. I mean, if you are a developer, you can work as both consultant and as a developer. But if you, uh, you know, only targeting as a consultant and not, uh, but again, I mean, it depends on your uh, work experience as well. I mean, because in this session there are people with 15 plus 18 plus experienced i mean they obviously won't be doing any development by themselves so i guess those guys are targeting for the consultant and you know the architect role but uh, you know uh, learning wise you still need to uh, learn how to develop the things even though you will do it uh, practically or not in your working projects but yeah, as a scope, if you say, I mean, I myself, I work as a developer. Okay, so in our session, you will cover the complete development part only, right? Yes. 
Okay. And how would it be? Can I can we show at least two years of experience on sales the velocity? That the content what you are going to talk uh, take the session? Uh, no, not two years because uh, there are like this CPQ and order management development things as well. Hmm. Because I mean only development. I don't think two years you can show in your resume. I think I can. Hey, Radeshant, I think I can answer on that question. So okay. after taking any training, it's not only velocity. You cannot show more than six months or three months of experience because the real uh, real time experience is a completely different real time experience. You cannot show, right? So even if you go for the interview, and interviewer can you know detect in in first five minutes that you don't have a real time experience. But it's up to you how you are managing the interviews. But uh, I don't think that is a good idea. <laughs> Thanks for the introduction. Yeah. But yeah, normally why, in yeah, why I'm saying yeah. so because mm -hmm. I I do take a lot of interviews, such interviews, and I can easily identify. So that's not a good idea at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It might be yeah. not good enough. But normally we hear so many people do that, right? So at yeah. least we should know how much we are going to take the session. Yeah, right, right. So, yeah, because uh, as a freshers also, if they have a gap, they'll show three to four years of experience also in IT industry, mm -hmm. not only in this sales force, every technology they'll show. Uh, so I just yeah, want to uh, they have some different uh, different domain of experience or similar to some some uh, if you are working since last one year on Salesforce admin thing, then somewhere you can fill the gaps, right? But it's not like you are jumping into Salesforce and velocity training and showing two year of experience that will not work. That's different. That's yeah. different part. And my question is different thing. I have complete yeah. experience from Salesforce itself. It's an add-on for me, right? So I can take it out. So at least for one year at SD. Yes, SD, you can you can continue. Yeah. You know, it's really. I mean, uh, you one year would be yeah fine. And you know, it's I mean, it, it all depends on how as uh, he said how you manage to uh, you know clear the interview it's not the case that you once you get the job you won't be able to survive because it's not the rocket science you'll be able to do things yes. uh, yeah. yeah so just the matter like you just need to uh, pass through that gate of interview and it's yeah, all that's like, good. That's good. yeah that's good yeah. exactly and, 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 that also happens right so it all depends. And step number one would be, you know, you since you have Salesforce experience, right? You should do the certification. You know, one. I mean, step number one, get certification. So at least, you know, that just proves that okay, you have say, your velocity knowledge, and then you can add on top of that. Okay, you have your Salesforce experience that that can add on, right? Yes, yeah. yes, we want. But I'm I'm asking that. I'm just asking that. Is this going to take only the basics, or she'll go to the in depth? I'm asking. Okay, based on that. We can decide whether we can go as a fresher. We can show in the interviews as a I have one year experience. I have only knowledge. Based on that, we can show in the interviews. I'm just asking that. Uh, what the in depth she's going to take the classes, okay? She so will be covering uh, the development uh, hands-on exercises. So by end yes, of the course, if you are feeling confident, then you yes, can yes. move. Yes, yes. That's what I'm asking, this day. Yeah. Taking uh, taking only basics of the thing, only just every uh, is different, and digging into the thing is different, right? I'm just asking that. Okay. Yeah. It's all up to and they're interested there whether they want to show it as only knowledge or experience. They how they can manage it. I'm just asking that. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Yeah. Uh, sorry to interrupt. Uh, further to the same question, on the same line. Mm -hmm. Um, is it like the exercises which you are going to do hands on? Is it like whatever is there in the trial head, the same exercises, or you will come up with something uh, based on your experience and different uh, exercises? No, I don't have any such separate material. You know, I'll be, I mean, whatever exercises they have given, exercise guide, we will be doing those only. Okay, thanks. No oh, doubt. Then you are also working, right? So you can give, you can yeah, as a use cases, you can provide your uh, similar use cases how you are working, right? Because trial head exits are a bit different. Uh, I'm first thing I'm 
like i don't have any like such material ready i can give you the one liner use case like so and so is the implementation but again uh, i myself need to be ready with that to show you guys right i mean i can give you the problem statements if you if you if that thing you are looking for then i can do that yeah yeah but yeah try it as different yeah. but i'm yeah. expecting yeah. the real time how the real time scenarios would be in velocity that i can tell you yeah. yeah might not be exactly what you are doing just like similar one how you are working on that yeah yeah problem statement or you know use cases i can tell you but if you are looking for the solution or the data pack i don't have it right away i also uh, need to implement with you guys okay okay yeah okay. thank you Uh, okay um, um from my side last question so i think in pilot yeah. i can see that uh, comms related omni studio uh, there's a track where with the exercise is also present is it same for even industry cpq and epc or whatever order management that you're saying do we have a exercise a velocity exercise in uh, trihead no uh, cpq cpq i think you i have seen the modules but for order management it's still with velocity uh, university i mean it's only for so, the uh, so you, you will come up with your own examples sir huh? your own exercises for order management to yeah, our order management in this session it's basic uh, velocity development okay so you are going to cover only basics for order management uh, with uh, no example no no hands on exercise are you saying that mm, even not even conceptual wise because in because this training is only designed for velocity development and not cpq and not order management development that's okay, what you are so uh, hey has d uh, do you have i mean the agenda and the course uh, content of course sort of document file so that everyone can get the idea what is the scope of this training mm. Don't have it handy, but as I said, I mean I don't know how much you guys are aware, but these six things which I uh, mentioned some time back: the flex card, omni script, integration procedure, data wrapper, and calculation procedure. These are the mm -hmm. only things we have to cover and work on and implement. And this does not cover any of the CPQ, EPC, or order management orchestration concept or development. okay just just uh, share it with all the team member who joined this call so we'll uh, review and walk through that uh, after this you know introductory session so everyone here can analyze and uh, you know the, the run the, their thought process what they are going to have so that uh, no one will ask the further question regarding this right so everyone will be clear on that okay yeah and one more question here so sd you mentioned like uh, it's a managed package uh, right and uh, how we are going to get this managed package for training sessions is it already velocity enabled orgs mm -hmm. or uh, you will provide the package to install in our normal org to do the hands on and other thing on the card etc that's what the part i wanted to do today i mean creating orgs for you guys Okay. So that's why I was asking you to log into Trailhead. So can you guys please do that? Okay, thank so you. We are logging in. We are logging in. Let's get. Let's get logging. Okay. 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 okay consider that all you guys have logged into trailhead then can you please uh i'll give you the link please open that module it has link for creating a new org which has the velocity managed package already uh, installed in it Okay, you can share in the meeting chat. Yes, I'm opening that.
Um, what is the chat option? Can someone ping me in here? I don't see the chat option. Okay, got it. Uh, I I think I think let's do this checking. But I lost it again. I don't. I'm not familiar with this tool. Uh, can you just ping me again? Ah uh, no. Uh, open uh, go to meeting. Go to meeting screen. Go to meeting screen. I, I am on meeting screen. Okay, chat. Okay. Uh, I just pinged you the link. Uh, if you go to it, there uh, is this org. Yeah. I not received the link. I didn't receive the link. Any? Yeah, you got it. Shirisha to everyone. Okay. I think I just pinged her. Okay. okay. If uh, you guys open this link, there is, uh, if you can see it on my screen, there is exercise guide link given over here under resources so you can click mm -hmm. on it take you to the form and please log in and create your orgs What we have to do? Do you want us to go to the uh, go through the content, attend this page, mm. or, or no? Uh, so if you don't we... have any idea on this. If you if you take my from my side, I don't have any idea on this velocity uh, something. So what exactly okay. we are doing? Uh, okay. Do you have Trailhead account? Yes, yes, yes. I have a Trailhead account, and I have uh, uh, gone through this. Um, means uh, to this link. Okay. So if it shows... you see it on my screen, if you go to this resources uh, section, mm -hmm. okay. okay, if you uh, mm -hmm. reached here, then there is this developer org link, sign up required. I just highlighted it on my screen. Okay. Yeah. If you click mm -hmm. on there, it will take you to one form. Fill in this, then you will get your org. No, no. See, actually, I have a trailhead account. Uh, okay. So when I click on the link which you have shared here, right in the meeting, huh? so I mm -hmm. get the uh, uh, meeting, meet the data source widget. So this is the topic, right? Yeah, you can share your screen, uh, dear Vic, so that. I already logged in. Okay, so um, I'm not sure what we have to do. You can share your screen so that I'll come to know what exactly is happening. Okay. I think you are able to see right my screen. Yes. Uh, if you see on the right side, there are topics enlisted, right? Right side. 
of your screen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so there is resources, very last one. Mm -hmm. Over there. Okay. And then yeah, click over there. And okay, this is uh, uh, specific to, I think, okay. Yeah, because as I said, uh, your plain org, Salesforce org won't work because it has to have. Oh, okay, okay. Got it, got it. So this is sure. the org they give us right away. I mean, they install velocity for us and give it to us like that. Okay, sure, no problem. Yeah. If any one of you uh, is working already working for a velocity project and if you have uh, what, access to the success community, you can do it from there too. Because success community of velocity is not uh, really available to everyone, same as Trailhead. It's only available for people, uh, you know, uh, who are working as an employee with some company which is partner or employee or paid customer of Velocity. So only those guys have access to success community. Yeah, I signed up for this new org, but I think the confirmation may, confirmation mail takes a bit time for this environment. Is it so? Uh, I didn't confirmation mail on my Gmail ID yet. Uh, yeah, I mean, I they mentioned 30 minutes to wait, but yeah, I will be waiting for that. Yeah, I mean, it takes time, uh, but uh, yeah, I mean, second thing is I have not created a uh, practice or from Trailhead because I have access to success community. I do it from there. Yeah, so I how, understand. Uh, in Trailhead, I think, yeah, it will take some time. It won't be available right away. But like if everyone has applied, I can just show like how the org looks like. Yes, go ahead. Share my screen. Is it visible? Yes. Okay, so everyone, I hope you have applied and uh, you will get it in 30 minutes or so. Uh, mm -hmm. So once you are in uh, what? Velocity install Salesforce. So it is nothing but the normal Salesforce org. Um, mm -hmm. You will have uh, what normal apps in here in app launcher. Okay, everything is same. Only the apps and the objects and the fields or the processes which are part of the managed package they will uh, become as an extra part. So if you can see it over here, this Velocity Digital Studio or this all this app, CPQ app, order management app, digital commerce. All these apps uh, have been installed to your Salesforce org as a part of Velocity Managed Package. So if you uh, want to see uh, the specification of the package, you can go to the setup. You can search for installed package. I hope everyone is following me. Uh, yeah, so this is the uh, managed package for Velocity, which is installed as a part of this. Uh, so this package platform. is for a specific domain, uh, ST. Which domain it is? CMT? Yes. Uh, yeah, CMT is communication and energy and utilities. If it's a uh, what insurance, it would have been Velocity underscore INC. INS, okay. And S, sorry, INS, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's, uh, that's the what, uh, velocity managed package. You can see 
and if you want to see more details like which version uh, of velocity you are on you can see all those details over here Meanwhile, I'll show you. Uh, if you go to this digital uh, interaction platform, it will have all the velocity components that we will be covering as a part of this training. Every tab there is only script, there is character, calculation matrix, calculation procedure. And Uh, velocity action is also there. Let's start. What is this Omniscript Omnistudio console? ST. Just a minute. Omnistudio. Uh, if if you have Salesforce background, you uh, must have aware of apps, right? So it's just yes. an app created by a velocity for the training purpose i mean for us guys so they have collected all the required components in one app that's it. it's just a normal app yeah so this flex card is also one of the uh, component that we will be covering if you guys see it on my screen these are the topics that we will be working on uh, as a part of this so i just give the one liners for today on this every uh, component and uh, then we can whenever we work on it we will get to know in detail what it is so uh first three if you can see omniscript velocity cards and flex card these are the ui components uh using this you can either you know show data to a uh, user on the screen or uh, you can you know uh, take any input i mean if you want to uh, create any form and you want to fill in that form by user so you want to show that on the screen so those kind of things you can do using omniscript velocity cards and flex cards then there is this data raptor and integration procedure these two components are backend components they deal with data manipulation you can fetch the data you can update the data you can save back the data you can delete the data uh, integration procedure has more to offer uh, than you know uh, on the data manipulation so we will see it in detail when we uh, do or when we work on this integration procedure but yeah basic one liner it, it deals with data and not only with the salesforce data you can hit the third party and uh, fetch data from there so like that and also these two act as a data source for your ui components as well so basically this is the middleware between your salesforce or any data source for that matter and your velocity ui components uh, then this calculation procedure and calculation matrices are uh you know uh widely used uh in a cpq i mean uh when whenever there are uh you know uh any calculation uh any formulas or complex calculation you need to do uh you use calculation procedure it has uh you know you can provide in inputs you can declare constants and all those things whatever stuff you can do in your apex code you can do it in here configurational way using calculation procedure and calculation matrices is basically kind of an excel sheet you maintain where you provide the input and you will get the output i mean you maintain that data uh, like for example um, in in insurance for example if you want to uh, give input as a age and gender or any diseases as an input and based on the input what will be the premium amount so that that combi those many combinations you can maintain as a metadata kind of a thing or as an excel sheet kind of a thing in your calculation matrix so 
and we'll we will see how it exactly looks when we work on the exercises so these are the basic things that we will be working so any doubts in here I think that's fine. ST will be covering in the subsequent sessions. And one quick question, uh, like in flex cars, I was reading somewhere we use the lighting component also, right? Yes. And so the, the you will be covering that. I mean, even with the examples, and uh, you will be using their Aura or LWC if you can give some idea. Uh, Aura component is not supported. You can only invoke the uh, LWC from FlexCard or from OmniScript. Um, okay. Example-wise, I have some ready-made, ready-made as in some LWC component ready. I can just show you how to invoke the LWC from FlexCard. But actually okay. writing LWC that will not be covered as part of this training because that is altogether different thing, right? JavaScript, CSS, and HTML. Yeah, right, and that will take the necessary time that I understand. Yeah, so only like connection wise, like how to invoke LWC or uh, how to pass data to LWC and those kind of things I can show you. Yeah, because you need to take care of, of the audience who are not aware about LWC, right? So at least i mean all of us are not yet like audience is from different background over here right and few of the people are not aware of sf as well so it's going yeah. to be okay fine thank you yeah. any other doubts in Uh, Eddie, the class times are from daily 7 to 8 only. Uh, it will be 2 hours per day. Yeah, Maybe regarding the timings, I will be get, giving you the confirmation. Okay. I got the art, uh, uh, I got the mail and I'm able to successfully create a new art with this uh, SD. Okay. I also want you to guys to install this one more uh, thing. Uh, this ex the uh, can you just go back to the same trailhead module from where you uh, created no. the org? The size guide link. As well. So if you guys can ins uh, sorry, download that too. And there is one more document. Uh, let me share. If you guys can in, uh, download that too, because I don't know uh, how many of you have access to Velocity University. So this PDFs will be helpful for uh, learning and getting to know more. Everyone got org access or like anyone it's still uh, waiting for it. Edgy, what we have to download, I, I got the PDF from that link, that exercise link. Uh, you got the exercise guide? Yes, yes, I got that of 12 pages, I got that. And the second PDF which I'm talking about, I'm just sharing its URL just a minute. Okay. Have you guys received this URL? The second URL which I shared. Yes, 
got it this time. So if you uh, if you uh, go here and scroll down, you will see this Omni Studio documentation PDF. So it's good to have this document as well. So whenever, see, it's not going to be, uh, you know, I mean, even if we go through these exercises and all these modules, whenever you will start working on the real time projects, it's not going to be uh, what. Uh, straight away or like you already are aware even i mean even it happens with me also like some of the parts that i'm i have not worked before and if i have to implement that as a requirement i have to go to the documentation and see the stuff so it's good to have the documentation handy and velocity is like still evolving uh there are i mean many things that comes in with every release that you are not aware of so uh, you you have to go to the documentation once in a while whenever you work on the real time projects. So everyone got this what to download. I mean the next the second PDF. Yes, from my side, the uh, SD. Okay, thank you. See, once I log into the app, I could see Omni Studio app only. As you were saying, the Velocity app, I could not see that. Can you please give me the navigation of that? Can you share your screen? Yeah, sure. Not visible yet. Oh, are you sharing your screen or you got it? I don't know. I'm sharing, but the sharing option is disabled from my end. Okay. I'm, I'm unable to share this. Exactly. The question. Uh, you, you can share it now. I have made you the presenter. Yes, yes. Yeah, now I can. No screen visible, ST? Yes. Okay. Uh, yeah. Can you click on that uh, arrow which is right to the Omniscript tab? Okay. Have you clicked? Yes, yes, I'm good. Yeah, yeah. So Omniscript FlexCard data raptors and integration procedure are here. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, I think uh, this is missing velocity card and um, calculation procedure and matrices. You can take mm -hmm. it from the app launcher. If you click on app launcher and just mm -hmm. type calculation procedure. No. Oh, I think it's not given in here. Um, I could see that some velocity app is started coming for you, but I could see only this to only speak and only speak. Actually, only speak. mine is uh, the success community version, right? So, like, I have, I think they are different, it seems. The one in the mm -hmm. trailhead, which is really available, it is only uh, providing you these three things. Mm -hmm. 
if you have or you already are working on any velocity project so you can take it from the uh, no actually i don't have any velocity project yeah but that's okay because the main things are there on the script and uh, flex card and integration okay. 